As we all know, Glitch have published a trailer for the second episode of The Amazing Digital Circus. And in addition to the new characters, we were shown a lot of new locations. These were both the locations where the new characters are, as well as just photos, with new locations or unfinished locations at all. Now I will tell you about all these locations, as well as suggest what can happen on them. Also, traditionally somewhere in the video, I have hidden a photo of the main location of the amazing digital circus, and everyone who finds it will get something interesting about the second episode. Well, I'd like to start with the most important location of all, and I think it will be called Candy Canyon. And this is where all the storylines of the second episode will take place. And by the way, this picture is not the hidden picture I mentioned earlier. It will be a little later on. So, the question immediately arises, where this location can be located, as well as what will be associated with new tasks from Kane. As we have seen, there is a lot of free space on our island, with the digital circus, so the Candy Canyon location can be located here, or somewhere else. But this location looks too big to me, especially if you look at the unfinished stadium, it's the only one that can barely fit in these seats. So I think that since Kane is still working on filling in the void, there might be a new flying island in the new episode, and that island just might be called Candy Canyon. I have a theory that this island will be accessed through some sort of portal, or Kane will simply teleport characters to a new location. However, you and I don't know the real size of our usual island, and can it get bigger? Where do you think this location will be located? Write your opinion in the comments. By the way, the new location may be partially located on our island, because when watching the trailer I saw one location, which reminded me of a Candy Canyon. Although, if we look at the main cover of Candy Canyon, we can see that almost everything here is made of candy, even the mountains, the earth, the sky, and of course the city itself. And if we even compare the location of the Candy Canyon and our island, we will see that they look completely different. The next interesting location that we were shown, and it had to do with Jax, and it had to do with a new spherical character. And it's something akin to fast food. As I speculated earlier, the digital circus can not only harm characters, but also help them. For example, Jax worked his whole life in fast food and hated his job. Likewise, he hated all people, which is why he treats the digital circus characters that way. But in the second episode, we may be presented with a different way of working in fast food, thus helping to fix Jax's character. That's why the second episode, as you wrote to me in the comments and as Gooseworks herself wrote, may be about Jax. Perhaps every episode that focuses on a character will focus on fixing their character. Why then would the first episode be dedicated to Pomni? What was her fix? I can say that in the real world, she might have been a loner, but thanks to the circus, she was able to find a group of people and started socializing with them. But if we do go back to the fast food location, what is the purpose of this new character who will also appear in this location? Perhaps he will be the main one there and will correct Jax's character by his address to him and also teach him moral principles. And by the way, Jax is almost the only one shown among other characters, not counting Pomni or Kinger. Speaking of which, what can we say about Kinger? And what location is he in with a shotgun? Judging by the trailer, this location 100% will be in Candy Canyon. But Kinger also has a green light. Who are some of the green-colored characters? Is it this green princess from the teaser? Or does this character also remind me of some kind of ghost? And speaking of which, if we look, this character in the trailer is in some dark location, just like Kinger with the shotgun. Honestly, I'm suspicious of this character, just like the location she is in with Kinger. I still think it's really just one location, and maybe it will be some kind of scary horror theater. You have to understand that in any colorful world, there is some dark side, or in our case, a dark location. We've seen another photo of this location, by the way, which features this flying green ghost. And now, it reminds me of some old house and it's not connected to candy for some reason. Except for this ghost, which may be made of jelly. Perhaps just behind one of these doors was Kinger, as this location is really only lit by candles or these green characters. By the way, why were we shown Kinger in the trailer? I think for us to make sure he was okay and not abstracted. Overall, we have very little data about this location, and I can't really tell you much about where Kinger is because it's not covered much. So if you have any ideas, make sure to post them in the comments. Next, I wanna look at the locations associated with the dinosaur, the Candy Queen, and a character that looks like the sweet queen of the Gloinks. If we start with the dinosaur, the location he is in is very similar to the field in front of the Candy Canyon, and perhaps this dinosaur will be the first test for the characters to make their way into this very Candy Canyon. Although this new character seems to be quite kind, and maybe he will accompany the main characters through the Candy Canyon. Also, Gooseworks in her tweet showed us a jelly dinosaur already in the Candy Canyon location itself, so my theory that he will accompany the main characters 
could be quite real. Further, if we consider the Queen of Sweets, she is also located within the Candy Canyon, and she is also in charge of the Candy City itself, because we see that she is outside and not in some building. I also think this character will be kind, and there won't be any trouble with her. Maybe she will give some clues when doing the tasks that will be given to the main characters. Well, if you look at the Candy Crocodile, it looks a lot like the Glowinks Queen, and is not in the nicest location. And it's possible that the Candy Queen Glowinks will cause trouble for the characters, or she will be made a good heroine and made completely opposite to the Glowinks Queen from the first episode. But I don't think so, because this character doesn't look very friendly. By the way, she may be somewhere in the mountains, or maybe in a caramel cave, which the main characters will also have to get to somehow. I can't describe all the locations shown to us by the developers, because we have rather little information about them. One thing I can say is that they are very beautifully designed, and each location will mean something. But what about this secret, unfinished location that Kane was so embarrassed about? It looks a lot like a caramel stadium, and it's probably going to be the site of some kind of challenge or competition. And also, as this location is not finished yet, it may be the end of the second episode and this is where the final results will be summarized. However, this could also be the beginning, where all the new characters will be introduced to us. We don't know that for sure yet, but I think this location will play some important role. By the way, write what you think about this location in the comments, I'm interested in your guesses. So, in the new trailer, the developers presented us nine new locations, and almost in each of them, there are new characters that will directly relate to each of them. I will be very interested to see all of these locations in the second episode and their purpose. One thing we are 100% clear on is that episode two will be 80% set in the candy quarry. And it may start with the Pomni room. And as I said, the developers had to create some uniqueness and we could not assume at all that the second episode will take place in the candy career. Thus, I think that now everyone will wait for the second episode even more, because it will be really very colorful and sweet. So what do you think about all the new locations from the second episode? Be sure to write your theories in the comments, because I'll be really interested to read what you think about it. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Good luck everyone, and bye-bye.